When it comes to owning a pet rabbit, one of the goals is to make sure that the floppy-haired sweetie always stays as dry and comfortable as can be. If your bunny gets wet, it puts her at risk for possible disease, freezing, and perhaps even death, so don't take the matter lightly. How dangerous is water to rabbits? While there are some dangers to getting a rabbit soaking wet, it's often blown out of proportion. Rabbits are not going to immediately die if they get wet, but it can potentially cause some health complications if they are not dried quickly. You might have heard that rabbits will immediately go into shock if they touch water, but that's honestly very rare. The more realistic dangers are hypothermia and skin infections, but these can often be prevented if the rabbit is dried quickly and thoroughly. There is also a big difference between a rabbit whose fur is a little damp and a rabbit whose fur is completely soaked through. The former is not dangerous at all, and will quickly dry, whereas the latter is much more likely to lead to hypothermia or a skin infection. That's why spritzing your rabbit behind the ears to keep them cool in the summer is okay, but baths are not. Potential dangers when rabbits get wet. While it is true that water is not quite as dangerous to rabbits as many people make it out to be, there are some real consequences if a rabbit is soaked through, especially for long periods of time. Once rabbit fur is wet, it holds on to moisture and does not dry very quickly. So, if they are soaked, they will stay wet for a very long time. If your rabbit is experiencing any of these side effects after getting wet, it's important to contact your local rabbit veterinarian as soon as possible. Hypothermia, especially, can become deadly very quickly, so you want to make sure your rabbit is taken care of. Problem with wet rabbits Wet bunnies are a true dilemma. When a rabbit's coat becomes wet, it prevents her fur from being able to shut in the heat alongside her physique. This, in turn, can lead to the freezing of the poor rabbit, specifically in times of frigid winter temperatures. This is a major risk, particularly for pet bunnies that spend a lot of time outside. Colder weather extremes are perilous to rabbits, whether rain, snow, or hail. All of these things can potentially make bunnies sick. Cold weather meets wetness. Although it's important for rabbits to never be kept in the cold, they're actually often pretty good at handling decreased temperatures. If a rabbit combines cold weather with wetness, however, he has a serious problem. A rabbit that is simultaneously damp and cold can get sick, quickly. Illnesses caused by being in both damp and cold conditions can sometimes cause life-threatening consequences in bunnies. Persistent matting. Aside from wetness in bunnies being a major hazard and pathway to disease, it can also lead to frustrating and persistent matting and knotting of your pet's coat. Matting undoubtedly looks unpleasant and also doesn't feel too cozy for your rabbit either. Always try to remove pesky knots in your rabbit's coat through carefully combing them out. Clipping the mats can be a potential hazard, as you don't want to get too close to the skin and cut it unintentionally. Drying your bunny rabbit. If your dog was just out in the rain and got a little water on your rabbit's coat, don't panic. Instead, promptly take action to dry the little rabbit. Don't forget about your canine cutie, either. Grab a smooth towel and then diligently massage your bunny's coat. It should only take a couple of minutes for you to restore your rabbit back to her former dry glory. Note that baths are unnecessary for rabbits. Not only is water a hazard for rabbits, but it can also make them feel extremely nervous. Pay attention. If your bunny's forever appears inexplicably wet around her rear area or her chin, pay attention, as it could signify a health issue. Also, look out for any matting in those areas. Notify your vet if you observe either of those signs. Other stress sources. Apart from wetness, other stressful circumstances can bring upon infection and disease in rabbits, including both cramped quarters and lack of fresh air circulating. Keep your rabbit's immune system strong by keeping him as stress-free as can be. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.